What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as expansion team the Saskatoon Stealth and we got bumped to 6th overall and I'm not happy about that whatsoever. I mean we were almost dead last. I was, we, I was at least hoping for a top 5 pick but we got bumped to 6th and that bugs me. So we got the 6th pick, the 14th pick. Ugh. We really got screwed, man. We really got screwed. We should have had a way better pick than this bullshit, but it is what it is, I guess. Ugh, I'm just not happy about that at all. We should have had a way better pick, but sixth, well, that's how it goes, I guess. So we're just going to have to look for all the gems that we can find because that's rough, man. That's We should have had a way better pick. So, yeah, we go. Uh, Jokin and retired. That's our retirement, and no goalies retired. Okay. And we'll check around the league a bit. Oh, too far. Here we go. All right, Yager finally retired, 46 on Nashville. <laughs> uh, Ribeiro, Hartnell, Fisher, okay. Franzen, see if we can find any of the biggest names here. Uh, Chris Neal on Vegas, apparently. 39 years old. All right. Not too many huge names here, but... There you go. How many goalies? Any goalies? Uh, not really. No, not really. All right. So... Pretty rough that uh, what our pick ended up to be. I mean, look at our record, 32, 43, and 7. Well, that's all right. I was hoping for a top five pick, but that's all right. I mean, it's still this will still be okay. We're still going to be able to draft pretty strong here. I mean, sixth overall is not terrible or anything like that, but I was hoping for maybe a top five, but that's all right. Let's see what's available here, how much we got scouted. All right, so yeah, looking like mostly elites gonna be in that. Ooh, looks like it really drops off here. Thomas is a playmaker. Okay, yeah. All right, so we're gonna probably try to get Thomas here because the other one's not looking too good. So yeah, we'll probably get Thomas, and uh, then we'll probably just look for anyone else we can get so yeah we can at least get thomas there because we have the sixth pick we should be able to get him oh man i got kind of screwed on the scouting i didn't get like any elites scouted really oh man that sucks yeah that actually really sucks that i didn't get any elites like scouted or anything like that man i went everywhere <laughs> shit well we're going to try to get as much as we can here. At least there's a couple top four guys we can get our hands on if we want to. But, ouch, yeah. I'm a little, I'm pretty bummed out that I didn't find any other elites here with all the scouting I did. But what can you do? What can you do, man? Alright, so... I guess we'll just sim a few picks here. You know, Dolan's going to go first. Uh, they want to give us... They want Ekholm for the 26th overall. No. I want to hold on to Ekholm for a bit. So let me decline that. All right. Can we trade up somehow? Like, could I get Valeno? Oh, my God. We could trade up for the second overall. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I might want to try to get Joe Valeno. I might want to try to get Joe Valeno here. I know we already have, like, some center playmakers and shit, but, like, hold on. Like, if we if we sort by trade value, like, we don't really have any other big names. So, this would be really strong to get. So, hold on. All right. So, we have a 27th and a 28th. Those can be used to draft guys who are pretty strong. But we could also package them in. I kind of want to hold on to the 6th, maybe. Or I might have to use that one. Yeah, I might have to use that. They don't want anything anything of this. And the players that they want... No, I kind of I kinda need to hold... Yeah, I need to hold on to all these guys. Yeah, okay. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get away with 
Doing like the 14th maybe and then the 28th. I don't think that'll work. No, there's no way. We're going to have to give it quite a bit for this. But I think I would do it. I might have to give it the 6th. I'll most likely have to give it the 6th. Well, the 6th is most likely only going to be a top top 6 kind of guy. So, okay. Let's give it the 6th and the 28th. That gets us relatively close. Might have to just throw in a second after that. We do have... Okay, we only have two seconds, two thirds, a few fours here. Let's maybe delve into the future stuff. Like maybe a couple, like a few years in the future, like 2021 a second from there. Let's see that. Two first, yeah, two first and a second. Quite close to fair value. Okay, 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 okay. This is going to be worth it to me. Sure, we have to move the sixth, but... Uh, I kind of still want to hold on to some of these seconds and stuff. Well, maybe I don't. I mean, maybe. I don't know too much about what's in the second. I know I could get some top nine guys, but maybe this would be worth it. Maybe I, I might want to hold on to the sixth overall. See if we can throw in the 14th and then that second instead. How close is this? No. Damn, I'm trying not to give up that, uh, the sixth overall, but I might have to. I really might have to. That's how it's looking. And it makes sense to move up for that. So, all right. So, we have a few fours here. Let's throw in a four then. So, they said quite close to fair value, which means I actually might not need to throw in a four. All right, let's see if we can move up here. We have two fives, one sixth. Okay, well, maybe I could throw in later picks from next year, and then I could try to collect. Oh, we already gave away some, didn't we? Yeah. That's kind of rough then. I don't want to go too, too much in the future, but I will kind of throw some stuff in. All right, we got that. Holy crap. Okay. So, yeah, it did cost us two first and a second, but we did just get the second overall. Which means we're about to get Joe Valeno. That's literally what that means. And we're going to have someone close to NHL fucking ready. So that's huge for us. He's pretty much NHL ready. So let's get Joe Valeno there. 73 overall. And then they could have the Zadina guy who's going to be 71 or whatever he is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. I'll I'll go for that anytime. I, we need a strong guy like that. So we got Joe Valeno there. We did have to trade up for it. But in this draft... It drops off. That six slot's going to be a top six, guys. So, while we did have to give stuff up, we could still get more back. All right, now I just got to see. So, after the top ten, what we could get. Maybe if I could, like, recognize a name or something. Now, there's a couple defensemen here that are guaranteed top fours. That might be something to look at. We do kind of have some good... Uh, Good players there. There's also McLeod, I know that, and he's a he's a top six guaranteed. So we could check him out. There's an Eggenberger guy. First slash second rounders. Hmm. Benton taking off. Hold on, I felt like there was an elite in here at one point that I, I could be wrong. I'm looking, I don't think, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so. Best bet is the most likely. Yeah, most likely look towards one of these top four guys. Yeah, I'd say best bets to look at one of those top four guys. Probably Bouchard. Woo or Bouchard. They're both kind of the same. A righty. Pretty nice. Bouchard is... They're both righties. Ooh, Bouchard. I don't know which one would be better. But we could check them out. But yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking both of them. And we could... We could promote, I don't think we don't get one of them here in the uh, 14th slot. So let's see. Oh, uh, no, 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 decline. Don't don't want to trade that. No, 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 no. God damn. Just relax. 
Let me, oh my goodness, okay. I gotta fucking change that, because that's ridiculous. I don't want to be dealing with this. I'll make trades if I want to, no thanks. No thanks! Okay. Here we go. Oh my god, just, come on. I took him off, just relax. Holy fuck! I hate that. All the trades are still gonna be, like, pushed out. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are now. Um, oh my god, dude. Oh shit, dude, McLeod didn't go. <laughs> McLeod didn't go. I could still get McLeod here. I guarantee top six. Hold on, let me check out. I gotta check out our situations for D and all that stuff. I know we already have a pretty strong defense, of course. Some of them we might move out. Some of and uh, we do already have a couple prospects. Let me see. Yeah, we got Vatten and Brodeen. Those two I'll probably hold on to. Ekholm, Myers. I can hold on to all of them. We got Lilgren coming up. We got Polka. Probably only gonna hit the top six. Pulock, same kind of deal. But we do have a relatively good defensive core already, so it's not imperative we get a defenseman. We're gonna have Lilgren. Hopefully coming up well. Olafson probably going to hit the top six. We're going to have a lot of guys here. Yeah, our defensive core is kind of already good. Yeah, man. Wow, yeah. Good combos, too. Yeah, all good righty-lefty combos already. Polka going to be on his way up. Pulock, same thing. Little green eventually. Yeah, so guys, we will move out maybe Bogosian and hold on to Echo Myers still for a bit. This could be a quick turnaround rebuild. It depends. It depends. Because we don't have too many forwards. So we might be, yeah, we might be more or less hurting ourselves. We need a lot of forwards, man. That's really what we need. So I needed to get, yeah, we really needed to get what's his name to boost this up. Yeah, so. We might still be trading those guys, so it might still be good to pick up the prospects, but right here, man, I don't know. I might have to go with McLeod since he's still available, and I know he's top six guy. I probably won't get one of these guys with the 20-something slots that I have, which sucks, but uh, I don't. Ooh, I actually don't know anything about these first, second rounders either, so that makes it a bit tougher. I think Roberts is actually decent, though. I think he's a top six. I could be wrong about that C. Roberts guy, but I feel like he is. Well, I'm going to go with McLeod, I think, because he's guaranteed. Or I can go with this guy, Bouchard. Actually, I think this might, this guy might be a top six. I'm a little worried about that, yeah. So, yeah. I think smart money is going with McLeod here. Or Eggenberger, I know, is a top six. I think Actually, I don't know. And Roman, I don't know about either. Huh. Well... This is tough call. I could let EA decide. I don't know how good they are at deciding picks for you anymore. But, yeah, I just don't know anything about these other two guys to really make a, make a pick on it. So I'm not too sure what to do. Uh, well, I'm just going to safely go for McLeod then. Because, yeah, I know he's going to be... I know he's a top six, so that's safe in, enough. Uh, woo, yeah, top four went there. Let's see about those other two guys. Olofsson, top nine. I just want to see... Bouchard, no. Not giving you echo like that. Uh, oh, two Bouchards. <laughs> One of them was top four, the other was a top six. Alright, where's the other guy? Ragnarsson was a starter. 
Oh my, my god, I removed him from the block, leave me alone. Uh, Roman, okay, good thing I didn't pick that guy. Bottom six. Uh, Wernblom was a bottom six, too. Uh, Eggenberger was a top six, but lower overall, so we did make the right choice there. Another top six. Defenseman, I mean. A couple top six to fuck off. Alright, we're gonna have the 27th here. A top nine sniper, okay. Uh, I think I want to go for Roberts. I actually think this guy might be a top six. Hollander, that's he's going to be a bottom six. I know that. This guy, is, I think, is going to be a top six. So, I am drafting two power forwards here. It's not the greatest strat, but I still think he's top six. Yes, he is. Okay, good. So, sweet. We got two top sixes there in a sea of stuff that isn't top six. So that's really good news. And uh, did we miss any elites? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to miss any elites here. I didn't see anyone that looked like they were going to be elite. So I think we're good. Yeah, Hollander, bottom six, like I said. Another bottom six guy. I think we're solid. Uh, oh, McNabb was a top six. That's kind of neat. Okay, so there was a top six guy, but didn't see him. And we got... Uh, was Roberts? Actually, McNabb might have been slightly better than Roberts. Oh, uh, no, they're the same. But playmaker. But who knows? Okay. Let's uh, sim to our next pick here. Uh, fuck off, man. I'm not making that trade. All right, top nines. All right. Top nines and bottom sixes from what I see. Uh, guaranteed top nine here. Top six defenseman. I'm probably rather... Unless this goalie is anything good, I could do a random pick on a goalie, but we do already have Corpus Allo and stuff, so I'm not really concerned about that. Hmm. Dunkley. Not bad. I might want to sort by potentials here. Okay, Schwartz. I, want, I think I want to get this guy. He looks like he should be top six. Second round guy. I don't want to wait too long for him in that case. I might just want to pick him now. Because I don't know when my next second is. Uh, That's a bit away. That's a bit away. Okay, I'm probably going to pick that guy right now then. Because he might actually be top six. He's probably just going to be top nine. But whatever. At least I have a chance of him being like maybe top six or something. So... Yeah, I'm going to pick him. I'm going to pick this Schwartz guy. This guy could also get, he might be top six in the fourth or fifth round. I can get him in the fourth easily. All right, so anyway, let's pick up, uh, let's pick up this Schwartz guy. Hopefully he's a top six or something. Uh, no, he's top nine, but that's all right. 55 are all top nine. It's not terrible. Yeah. I was, ew, that was worth taking a chance on for sure. Cause it was that green top six. It could have been, fuck off. Could have been decent. Oh my god, man. Did I not remove these guys off my block? I did. And people are still just offer shooting for them. Holy fuck. I can't even get stuff done. I can't get anything done, man. I've rem Oh, for fuck's sake. What else do I have to do? They're off the block. They're Everything's off the fucking block. Bye. Maybe I had to remove the surplus too? Who knows? Who fucking knows? This is ridiculous. Oh, oh yeah, we did trade away our other second. Good thing I did pick that guy. I forgot. Okay. So now we got the third. We see we should have had a top five pick. We got kicked out. It's messed up. Oh. Okay, this guy might be top nine, but he's probably just going to be top uh, bottom six. A lot of guaranteed top nines in here in the fourth, fifth, and later rounds and stuff. Not terrible. All right, let's go to projections here. Okay. Ronaldo, red at top nine sniper. 
I just want to take a chance on him to see if he could be something weird. I, I don't think he will be, but... I kind of want to see. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's see if he could be something weird. Just because I don't know much about him. No, bottom six. Okay, whatever. I was hoping for something weird there, but that's fine. Took a chance. Didn't get it. Okay. I think we have one more third after this, maybe. So we can get some guaranteed 70s. Probably a top nine guy here. Backland. But let's see about potentials again. This guy I can hold off on. I can hold off on almost all of these guys. Third or fourth round. That's who I'm looking at. It was Backland. So let's take a pick on him. Oh my god. He was bottom six. Really with green? Oh my god. Okay. Was not expecting him to be bottom six. But he was. Okay. Here's the fourth round. Now I'm actually going to pick up a lot of these. Uh, okay. Well, this guy's guaranteed top nine. So at least I know that. Also a guaranteed... The top six. I might go for that instead. I already do have some top nines. There's a lot more top nines later. So let me just pick up this guaranteed top six defenseman. Oh, fuck. It was red. That's kind of rough. I didn't expect that. Whatever. We got a few other fours here. So we're good. Man, yeah. I'm not seeing any sort of gems or anything. No elite gems that I can see. Or at least I don't know what to look for. All right, so let's go by, yeah, it might be the time to get, just get Arvidsson, guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed. Ooh, yeah, we also have this Nykvist guy. Hold on. Well, this is guaranteed top nine. Nykvist, fourth or fifth round. When's, when's our other fourth? If it's not too late. Uh, okay. That, we can miss out on that guy. That sucks. Okay. I might want to pick him here then. Pick that fourth slash five guy here. Just because he might be... He might be better than a top nine. Most likely not, but I, I just want to take a chance on it. I think I want to take a chance on it, so I will. Uh, no. <sighs> he was even fucking red top nine. That sucks. Yeah, not too much luck right here. Uh, looks like most of them are red top nine. Oh, a lot of AHLs in here too, damn. So we're at least finding, like, the right kind of stuff. Okay, Ulanov. Might be bottom six. I know this guy's going to be top nine. So, although this guy does start out relatively okay, but he is older. Yeah, I know this guy's going to be top nine. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go by potentials. Hmm. Are we out of the fourth round already? I didn't think. No, we're not. Okay. I was like, wait a sec. Why is there? <laughs> yeah. Even when I was in projections, though, it didn't show any more fourth round. That's weird. Okay. Um. Safest bets to go with the guy who's guaranteed. That green top nine could be a bottom six. So, might as well go with the guy who's guaranteed to be top nine here. It's going to be red. So, yeah, we're kind of not having the greatest luck here. But... Now I can still pick Ulanov, so I might as well take a chance on him now, which I will. And I might go for one of those goalies if I can. Yeah, red top nine, cool. We do have another fifth. It's right here. Okay, and I think we have one more pick after this. We can get this old man guy. Another guaranteed top nine. And that's looking like literally the best option for us. So I'll probably go for that. <clears throat> yep, guaranteed top nine guy. Pick him. 
All right, another red top nine, so it's not great. And I think this will be our last pick here in the sixth round. I think. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, we don't have any other sixes, and I don't think we have a seven. Yeah, pretty sure we don't have a seven. Okay, so this will be our last pick of the draft. Uh, now, I might just look around for something that looks like it could be weird. A gr like a weird fucking grinder who's supposed to go in the seventh round with no league interest. Be elite. <laughs> nope. Okay, so I couldn't find anything weird. I was hoping to get, get like some kind of a weird, like elite weird thing in there, but whatever. I just, I just blind picked for something that I didn't. I had, I had to pick something that I didn't know anything about. That's the only chance I would have got to get a fucking a random gem in there, but yeah. So still very successful. We got Valeno, two top sixes. We got a lot of good stuff in this draft. Towards the middle, it kind of really fell off, but we did get some top nines at the end and then took a chance on some grinder who's not going to be anything. But still, overall, very good draft. We got Joe Valeno. So, one year development for him, maybe, then he's NHL ready. So, that's good for us. He'll start being the guy that we uh, put the saddle on. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So, let's get to the re -sign phase here. We're going to have to draft pretty heavy next year, I think. So we probably will end up trading some of these defensemen. But I just didn't want to trade them right there at the draft. I want to I want to be able to trade them on my own terms. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, good, good, good. Dano, Smith, Pelly still here. Yeah, Myers might want to trade him this year since his last year. Okay. All right. Well, I definitely want Dan O back. This guy's way super solid. Two years he wants. Okay. Let me do the math on that. Let's see. 3.135. Okay. All right. I can get him for about 2.7. He might not be happy with our performance, so he might want a bit more, but I'll give him 2.7 because that's a bit more than I, I could technically get him for a little less. All right, two years on that. Smith Pelly. Yeah, I'd say he's pretty. He's okay. I'll get him for like maybe just one year. What's he want? He wants two years. I can get it for two years. It's not a big deal. I'll need him. I'll need guys to play in certain spots anyway. So we'll try it. One point eight for two years. It's not a bad deal at all. All right, Yaskin. Might be just about done growing here. But we'll see. I still I'll take I'll give him two years as well. I'll take him up until he's done growing. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'll at least know exactly what I have to work with at that point. I kind of wanted to make him almost a second liner. It's not looking like he'll get there, but we're gonna try. All right, two years at that price. Wilson, good depth guy for me, so I like him. I'll offer him a deal as well. He wants two years. Pretty much everyone wants two years. So let's see. I'll get him for one right there for two years. All right, Latestu. I'll let Hemsky go. Pro yeah, I'll probably let Hemsky go. I might get Latestu back. Yeah, he was all right. Just for a year, though. No, no three years for you. Get out of here. Um, I don't know if he wants an extension. He actually wants an extension, so I could... I can still get him for okay. I'll, I'll eyeball the money in this one because he still might not be happy at his age. So, especially with me lowering his uh, deal in years. Hemsky, I'm holding off on. Uh, Shore, yeah. I want Shore back. Two years for him. Oh, he only wants one. Kind of want to give him two. Yeah, it'll take him until he's done growing. So, I want to give him two years. So, let's see what we can get him for. All right, 1.33. So let's get him 1.350 for two years. Should be good. Pocket. Yes, I want Pocket back. Definitely want Pocket. He only wants one year. That's kind of okay because then I can give him a two-year deal next year. So I'm all right with that. We'll give him one year at like this price. I'll just eyeball that. 
Uh, Pulak, yes, I want Pulak. Okay, he wants two years at one mil. Pretty easy math on that right there. It's a super good deal. Polka, he'll probably be NHL ready, actually, if he jumps, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's really going to jump. Yeah, okay. So, I'm, I'll get him to a bridge deal. Just get him to a nice little two-way bridge deal. Bam. Uh, Poirier. Yes, I want Poirier. Look, oh, looking like he's going to grow a bit. So, good. It'll be a nice little role player for us. Two-year deal at around uh, just under one. But I'll give you, maybe just give you one flat. No, I'll give you that. There you go. Uh, Lear, yeah, I want Lear. Only wants a one-way deal. He's going to grow a bit, so all right, I'll give him a bridge deal. Right there. Uh, Richardson's pretty pissed, so he, uh, oh, he actually wants an extension, though. If his morale resets, he'll be good, but I don't know if I want to give it to him. Blandizi, yeah, I want this guy back. Two-year, two-way, yeah. We'll give you two-year, two-way. See if we can get you up to a third or fourth liner. Valeno, I'm going to sign immediately, obviously. So let's get him. Okay, who else? All right, fix Wolanski. No, I don't have to do that. Same with this guy. Uh, Warner. American, yeah, I want to sign this guy. I want to play him, or at least have him there. All right, sign him. McLeod. Hold on. Is McLeod American? No, he's Canadian. So, I think signing him does help him grow, though. So, let me see. I, I've been told signing can help him grow. So, let's sign him anyway. Okay. Where was Roberts? There's Roberts. So, same thing with Roberts. Sign him. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe some of those guys I'll sign to. Probably will. Probably have to. All right. Let's see. Let me see about my goalies. All right. So, we're solid on that. Corpus Allo should get pretty good. We'll be able to trade Miller this year, and then we can go with, yeah, we'll probably trade Miller free agency or something like that, go with uh, Corpus Allo Subban. I was thinking about trading him at the draft. I already was thinking about that, but it didn't look super strong of a year, and I could, I'd rather trade this guy for like some seconds this coming year or something like that. Like right at, right at free agency and just ship him off. All right, Kravchenko. So if I do that, then I'll, yeah, I'll need to sign Kravchenko because I want him as a attendee. And there might be someone better in free agency, but I just got to sign this guy just in case I want a backup. That can grow. So we'll have Ava Line and then probably Kravchenko. Because we'll probably go with Corpus Allo Subban. Okay. That looks good. Let's advance a day here. See what we have left to work with. We're still going to have plenty of money. So there might be someone we want to pick up in free agency if he's young enough. Depends. Depends. They'll have to be young. Advance a day. Uh, Letesti rejected. We got Shore. Dano rejected. Interesting. We got Smith Pelly though. We got Blandizi. Wilson rejected. Okay. Uh, Yaskin rejected. We got Paquette. We got Pulock. We got Lear, Polka, Poirier. Roberts, good. So we got pretty much everyone. A couple guys who didn't like their deals. That's fine. I'll go a bit over. I can afford to. So that's all good. I might actually want to commit to Dano a bit longer term because I know I'm going to hold on to him. And I might... Well, I don't want to give him too much more money, though. That's the thing. Yeah. So, yeah, two years makes the most sense. Like, I wanted to maybe, like, hold on to him for, like, a longer period of time. Two years at... Uh, I'll just give him three mil flat. He deserves it. Two years at three mil. I'll give him three mil flat. He fucking deserves that. So, there you go, Dano. Now, right, Yaskin. I want to give you two years as well. I'll give you two flat for two years. There you go. I can afford to. It's not a big deal. Uh, Wilson, you didn't like your deal I offered you. So we'll give you 1.5 for two years. Uh, Letestu. 
I just want you to get. I, I just want one year. I just want him for one year. So I'll pay him like two and a half for a year to come back. Not a big deal. Here we go. And then Hemsky. I might need him to play, but I think I can just release him. I might have some other guys to bring up here. Like, let's see. Forward wise. Uh, yeah, I think I will be all right without Hemsky. Have some guys out of their roles and stuff. But the only plus side of having Hemsky is just having kind of a goal scorer type dude, but he doesn't want an extension. I'll have to pay a lot for him. If I want someone like that, I could probably just pick him up from free agency. So let's, let's let Hemsky go. That's my, that's my thoughts on that anyway. All right. So we're gonna have to sign a few of these guys. Let's sign this Schwartz guy, because he's yellow top nine. All right, get him. This guy's, no, he's a playmaker. I can't afford to, or I can't, I don't have space for all these guys. Richardson, I might just let go too. As good as he is for depth, we have young depth, so let's let Richardson go. All right, so I could sign all these red top nines. That won't be an issue. So let me do that. I guess I will. Yeah, I can sign all of them. So might might as well try to play them all. Okay, get you. Get Nike Fist and Mayor as well. All right, and that should be good. Okay. Do I want to sign one of these bottom sixes? Maybe Backlund, but he's a bottom. No, he's a playmaker bottom six. I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, so I think that should be it right there, those signings. We'll still have a few slots here for the free agency, but not really. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Okay, we got Latesti. We got Dano. There we go. We got Wilson. Good. Yaskin still rejected. Whatever. Also, I can still get that guy. I'll just have to offer him a bit more. And we got all the rookies we wanted. Good stuff. Let's see here. All right. Still got 27 mil to work with. I only got a couple holdouts. Yeah, Yaskin. I want Yaskin Mac. Yeah, two years. I'll give him like 2.5 or something like that to come back. I can just give him 3 mil, to be honest, but let's give him 2.5. Go slow. I don't need to rush it. And I think that's all I'm going to sign. And we'll still have three roster slots available. Yeah. Yep, I don't think I was missing out on anything I really wanted to sign there. Not really. Yep, yeah, nope. All right, so just Yaskin, and then we'll advance the free agency, see what's available, and uh, maybe check out a couple prospects to see if what's going on there. But for the most part, yeah, I want We got to pick up maybe one or two young guys. That's about it. All right, there we go. So we got Yaskin, and that should do it. Everything is signed. Everyone's signed, right? I'm gonna double check goalies and everything like that, but I'm pretty sure everyone that I want to be signed is signed. So quick little double check here. Everyone should be good. Nothing outstanding. Uh-huh. Looking good. Yeah, we're solid. Goaltenders. Yes, we are solid. Okay. So we're all good now. We're going to advance to the free agency and see what's there. Okay. Come on. Yeah, 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 Pro Scout. All right, so here we are in the free agency. And uh, Evander Kane's here again. Wow, he actually got to 84 overall. 
five teams interested in him. I can see why. He would be good to have just because he's so young, man. But I think we got him in Vegas. So, I mean, yeah, four other teams. This is going to be very hard to get him. Yeah. It would be cool, but that's pretty damn hard. So, at least you guys know Vander Kane pops up usually in the, this year's free agency. But uh, let's see if there's anyone... I know it for the two ways here. Uh, Shinkarook. That's funny. Hunter Shinkarook is still here. He's tendered, though, so screw that. Uh, Griffin Reinhardt. And, yeah, no, no one really that good here. The only thing I would actually consider going for is Evander Kane. And he, want, he wanted a pretty, like, decent deal, I think, too. Uh, there's Slepeshev. Top six, fourth, wait a sec. Oh, he's tendered. Yeah, fuck that. No, I don't want to, well, what's that price? What would I have to give up? Would I even have to give up anything? Well, yeah, because I'd have to extend the price. 24, man, he, I don't think he gets to, and it, ooh, hold on though. But he does have, he does have decent defensive stats. So if he doesn't get to a, uh, a top roll, he's still... A good player. He only wants a year deal, too. Slepeshev. Maybe. I know he's 24 and still only 78. He's got a couple years to kind of get better. It's a, it's an idea. That's an idea to try to get that guy. Let me see. What's the... Uh, ask, all right, so I'll have to give him probably close to 2 mil to get him. So what would I have to give up to get that? I don't know if that'll be worth it, but I'm going to try. I'm gonna, Oh, I'm going to at least see. See if that would be worth it. Uh, I'll have to give up a second or a third. No fucking thanks. No, that's not worth it. Not worth it in my eyes. Not worth it. I could trade for his rights and get some, and make it easier probably. Well, it might, have, might be more to trade for his rights. Who knows? Anyway, you guys can let me know if I should go for Kane or just maybe just not sign anyone or anything like that and just roll with what we have and then consider some more trades. We got to trade Ryan Miller right now, so we want to pick up some picks or something for him. So that's that's what we got to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you guys, let me know what you think. Remember, leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.